Hey y'all, welcome back. Well, deer season ended Sunday night, so it's over for nine months. We had our fun weekend with the kids, got a few kills under our, under their belts, and we're going to be processing deer here very shortly. But I uh, wanted to jump on here and do a video because now is when everything starts. We start feeding again. Uh, protein will be coming for longs. Deer hit salt licks real hard. So there's a lot of things goes into that. And one thing I got a gift for Christmas that has really been a game changer for me since Christmas. And so the day's video is going to be on cell cameras. So uh, and the benefit of them. And I'm going to actually sit down and show you how to set up one of these Spy Point Link Micro LTE. So y'all stay tuned. Now I got two of these cameras. It's the Spy Point Link Micro LTE. I got two of these cameras for Christmas. And I'd always been on the fence about cell cameras. My uncle has a reveal. Uh, I know some other guys got some Exodus and different ones and they seem to really like them. And they say it really helps them because they can monitor you know, what's going by the camera, what not during season. But I've always used traditional trail cameras. And uh, don't really spend a whole lot on trail cameras usually because about three or four years as much being been out in the weather and around and see every once in a while you get ants and stuff in they tire up. But um, so I don't spend a lot of money. I got some higher end cameras, but not much. But anyway, I got these for Christmas, and one of the things I was worried about was me. I have U.S. Cellular. And some of them are dedicated to Verizon, some of them are dedicated to AT&T. And what I found out real quick when I opened these up and, and used them, they are so beneficial. And, and you don't have to go back and keep checking cards and bumping deer and bumping, you know, turkeys and stuff out. So we're going to go through the setup. I have two set up in the field now. I'm going to get these two set up and go hang one tonight. So uh, we'll get to opening this up. This comes with SIM cards already in it. It comes with SD cards. Now the ones I got come with the sand disc uh, with both of the the uh, cases. It comes with straps. So anyway, you're gonna open it up. Instructions are super simple. Um, you got your straps. Of course you got your SD cards. And then you got your cameras. Your book. This is just a little holder that holds uh, the antenna place so you won't break it. We'll go ahead and leave it down for now. Anyway, you got your pull on the side. Just open it up. And it's got everything here that shows you. The SD card goes in the top slot. You can go ahead and take your sticker off. This compartment comes out. This is your battery compartment. Now you can get uh, rechargeable battery packs for them which I'll probably upgrade these later but what I wanted to show you is your SIM card is already installed here in the back it does not matter what service you have it doesn't matter if you have Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever it, this SIM card works through the SpyPoint app and it doesn't matter what, what carry it don't go add, add on to your bill and I'll tell you more about the plans here in a second so basically you follow the instructions, and first step, okay, first step is you're going to load your batteries. Okay, I've went ahead and loaded up my batteries, so step one is take this out, make sure you load your batteries. It will show you on there which way to insert it. Now, it does state that you can use a lithium battery pack that they've got to go with their solar charger. It says not to use any AA rechargeable because they don't actually hold enough voltage. It can make your camera have issues. So they recommend Energizer or recommend lithium batteries. I like the Energizer Max. That's what I've been running for the last two weeks in mine and I'm really happy with it. So first off, take your battery 
pack it shows which way to go in. Your SIM cards are in, don't even touch it. You're going to put your battery pack in, and that way, go ahead and put them in both cameras. I'll put them in both cameras. So they're in and ready to go. It says to remove your little holder, and this holder comes out real easy. It just slides out of the locking tab on the back, as you can see. I just like transporting them and having it. I hang on to mine. So you put that in, then, it, then you're going to install your SD card. So you got your little micro SD. Now these are already for, supposed to be formatted to the latest um, update or format. So it shows which way for it to go in your slot is right here. You can see the shape of the card. You just put it in. That one's set. Same on this camera. All right. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this back out because the code is behind. Some of them are on the bottom and some of them are on the inside. So I've got my app up with my two cameras that's already there. There's a little plus emblem down here in the corner. So I'm gonna add, and it says to select a model. These are the micro LT, so I'm gonna hit the down button and scroll. To the micro link LT. I'm gonna hit done. Next, it's a device identification. Identification. Here it says to scan. So I'm gonna hit the scan button. It comes up. Take my camera, and it grabbed it. It's gonna ask you if you've been referred or if you have a promo code. I don't, so I'm going to activate my device. Congratulations, your device, your device is, is now turned on. It will take a few minutes to connect and start. So, you're going to put your battery back in the way that it shows to go in. Now, it has your instructions on the inside. Power lights, we're going to go ahead and power on. Notice I've got a green, red, it flashes all of them, so it says power camera on. And your status light, when it's flashing green, it's searching for signal. We're searching for signal now. Then it says status light steady. As soon as that goes steady, I'll be able to see it on my phone. Now this could take up to a few minutes. So I'm going to set this one here and let it be activated. It already has a spot in, in my app for that camera. And it'll have one for the fourth camera here in a second, too. But we're going to let this one set up. And like I said, it usually takes a minute to a minute and a half. So we'll see. That, that took less than a minute. My, As you can see here, I'm in the basement at my workbench with all this metal around me. But at this point, I have an orange light. I do have signal. So it's actually showing on my, my third camera is up. And it shows my my battery life's at 100%, taking HD videos, and my actually my Wi-Fi signal is 50%, or my reception is 50%. So that's all it takes to set it up. Now I'm gonna set the other one up real quick, and then we're gonna go put one out before it gets dark. So now both of these cameras are set up and ready to take to the field. Now. As you can see, I have four cameras on here now. They're ready to work. They're, uh, the only reason they have weak signal is because they in it, is in here inside. So me and Miss Kim's going to load up in the Pioneer. We're going to go put one of them out right now. And I'm going to put one at another lease tomorrow. So y'all stay tuned. We'll go throw them in a tree. And me and Kim made it out to the, uh, to the lease. Now this is a spot that I killed the nine pointer. And as you can see, 
our food plot comes around and goes all the way down through there. That's evolved harvest shot plot and uh, they seem to really be tearing it up right now. Now over here is a tree I would usually hang on. There's a salt lick in front of it that they're starting to dig at, but I'm actually going to hang it on the tree that the stand is in. That's a, it's got a big four trunk tree and there's a stand up the top. So I'm going to hang it facing down, catching anything walking by. So we'll hang it up right quick. Okay. That's angled down towards the food plot and the deer walk back and forth as y'all have seen in many of our videos in 2021. Uh, deer season 2021. So I'll go up here and show you how we activate it. All right. Open the case up here. Just flip it on. And it'll set there and blink and it'll show that it's green. Starting to pulse. We got real good signal. Now we'll check it to the app. We'll update the app. And it shows this one has 50% signal. So as soon as the green light stops flashing, we'll be good to go. All right, now we're good. It's taking a picture now. We just pulled back up. Miss Kim went on upstairs. So on our way back, we got notifications that so you that we got that. so that's the one where I was I was in front of the camera um, waiting for it to take and then that's when I backed up and checked it and then uh, this is the second camera I put out. So as you can see, the spy point cameras are very simple. You know, I was always leery about cell cameras cause of data plans and stuff like that. But this is really affordable. They actually have a plan. I'll show you here the schedule that's on the website or, or what they have for plans. But basically, <clears throat> it's $15 a month per camera for 1,000 pictures. It's $10 a month per camera for unlimited pictures. Then the lowest one they have is 250 pictures per month for $5 per camera. Now what I chose to do is I actually went with the members club price. So it's $99 a year. $99.99. So it's $100 a year unlimited cameras and you get 250 pictures per camera per month so it's unlimited cameras you have 20 cameras you're still going to get it for that same price now <clears throat> there is resolution setting and minute settings on these things so you can get three bursts at one picture you know at one signal you get three bursts you can send them to every three minutes you can send them to just dust just dark you can set them to a certain time of day. So, like when I'm putting out feed, so I'm going to put out corn. As soon as winter's over, I'll be putting out protein for the bucks and stuff. And we'll be putting salt out year-round, or especially through the spring to turkey season before we have to clean everything up before we start turkey hunting. But my point being is that $99 a month comes with transition HD plans. You can... It, it also comes with animal recognition, so you can set your resolution. There's a lot of benefits, as I'll show you here, that come with the $99, so I chose it. Now, I chose the Members Club, plus you get entered in giveaways, and you have all kind of support and different things that you can get through the, the club. So, me personally, I'm gonna try these spot points out. I'll do a review in a year. I've seen good reviews, I've seen bad reviews. But from what I've experienced so far, these are some dang good cameras. And it's really gonna help us scout next year. I'm really fired up about using these through the summer, the trace, everything. I'm probably gonna be adding a playlist of just pictures every week, uh, showing what I've got that week from four different sites. 
Uh, my daughter Sarah has bought uh, a set of cameras she's going to run for season and she's going to run her own plan. So it'll be really interesting to see what we pull out of this. So in the comments below, I, I'll, I'll put a link to these. Uh, actually, I got mine at Academy Sports. They had two cameras for, well, I got two for a gift, which got me really liking them. And then I got two cameras in the LTE pack that were 139 and then, of course, using my Academy uh, credit card for one month, I got five more percent off. So I'll, I will probably, if the spy point keeps going good, I'll probably end up venturing into some of their solar cameras. I have some uh, buddies of mine that use them for bear hunting and different things, and they say, of course, any camera's not bear proof, but they really like these cameras. And so... I want to throw that out there, show you just how easy it is and try to take some of the fear out of buying one because you might have to run back and forth to put feet out, but you're not going to be swapping SD cards in and out. One other thing I will say is one thing I like about these, you can leave the camera in the field, bring the card home, clear it off, the SD card, reformat it, and download the latest version of firmware. Go right back to the camera and stick it in. It updates the camera in the field. So that's another plus to what I've seen with the spy point deal. But like I said, drop your comments what you're using below. Uh, whatever that you've had happen with them or, you know, anything that you, you've come across as far as cellular cameras. Or maybe even what you've benefited with for cellular cameras. But I can promise you this is going to help me track it's going to help me see what deer's where they're, where they're at during the rut and season. And uh, I'm really excited to see what this season holds. So we'll see what uh, how the spy points hold up. So as always, God bless. We'll catch you on the next video. See you later.